Well, welcome and good evening, wonderful dice of all alignments. I am Lunar D8, and this is Let's Play Code Vein Part 21. When we last left off, we, well, so helped this is Ava and about. Jack to get posed, and we now ended up in something that looks a lot like the Cathedral of the Sacred Blood. It's called Crypt Spire. And... Oh, it appears like we're gonna get like binding of Isaac curses. I thought this was the government fortress. Keep your eyes peeled. Something's up. How far below is the bottom? You know, it might actually be the Cathedral of Sacred Blood way down there. Hi, single person standing in the open. Just going to get paired for ridiculous. Bring it any time. I missed. Are these those people that Mito showed us? He probably has lots of them. Yeah, because we definitely can't reach that. Wait, I know. Let's bring everyone here and we'll all stand on each other's shoulders. And don't say we don't have the core strength for that, because... Look at the swords that we are carrying. <laughs> the lost are everywhere, huh? This place reminds me of Aurora's Cathedral. Yeah! I had that thought too. I was hoping it's like Cathedral Sayer Blood, but with every curse from Binding of Isaac. Let's check that out after. I saw those wings move. Something we can use? Well, I want to double check to see if there's something I can jump to. Moving out. I know, I'm feeling vertigo just looking at this. It's not even, Could you imagine this in VR? Oh, you'd probably die of a heart attack. Because, like, I am feeling, like, tremors occasionally pass through my legs just looking at this. Like, my body's saying, don't fall, we'll die. I'm like, like, body? This is a video game. We're looking at it from a third person perspective. And the game's like, but it looks high. I don't want to die. I'm, I'm not even joking. I actually am feeling vertigo. Like, honestly, I'm pretty sure if we added motion blur and a 3D 
effect in VR. Other than having a straight up heart attack, oh my goodness, this would cause motion on, sickness. I'm on my way. Like, it's actually making me feel a little nauseous. And that's not knocking the game design, that's... It's me complimenting the game that it's designed so well that my brain is not apparently comprehending that, you know, this is an actual threat to me. My brain is actually regarding this as we might die. And I'm like, game, you know, it's a game. It's not real brain. My brain's like, yes, it's real. Bitch. No, no, no. Ice does not seem to be very effective. Well. Thank you. Maybe lightning? You're looking pretty sharp. Fine. I'll wait. You have to take whatever you can use. That's definitely not something we and are they? Who would that this architecture? It's it's beyond the fact that like even if you had millions of people working on this, just the way it's designed. One, I don't think human beings would have been able to build this. And two, I'm pretty sure. Ugh. The decision is yours. I kind of feel like there's many switches I've seen that eventually we're going to get like a mimic switch, and it's just going to be a switch that's actually a mimic. Who knows what's waiting through here? Good work. Let's keep going. Person? I guess you're not Mido's underlings. I see. That bastard Mido. It's like he enjoyed hearing our screams. Wait. No. Yes, we are. Ow! Ow! Double ow! This is not appreciated. I'm not going to claim I did that on purpose. You guys know that anytime that happens, it's just me being lucky. Sir? <laughs> 
Right, I gotta remember that that's the thing that gets said when this is over. Don't think I have enough titanium yet. Alright, did he die? I thought I saved. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, is that the way I came in? This way I came in. But we're not in the clear. Ah, you are alive. I thought I'm you were the other about dude. The guards at the gate on the top floor of this tower. It's safe to say Mito will attack them, just like he attacked us. Okay, well I guess we'll have to help is the only way to get to the provisional government, after all. Why does this we give me Aizen vibes? Like, like, when Aizen... Well, you gave me something, so cool. You know, you could come to our little church. Bath Onisan thing. No. It gave me the option of talk. We're going to talk to the I, Like I said, what if one of these things was a mimic? Oh, what is that? Yeah, let's see something special over there. Uh. Lot of alternative paths. Don't run too far ahead. Uh -huh. This thing put us through some trouble. Still, fifty percent map, and we have. So that was a shortcut. That's where I came. You got something we can use? Shall we? That reminds me, I still haven't checked out. Okay, this is the one I just got, which. Okay, all around, it looks like this would raise all of my stats considerably. It also has an eight, so that might be why. I blew some dexterity in mind. I don't think it'd be that big a deal. And I'd even gain some defense. I might switch to this one for now. There was another one that I'd got and I hadn't looked at this one. Um, well, let's look at it and see what it looks like. Okay, interesting. Well, let's switch to Silver Guard. Okay, that's certainly different looking. Up. 
this might be the one that's most aesthetically. I don't know. What's the most aesthetically pleasing one of these things? These outfits. Finally, about half of the way, huh? Um, I'm glad we're revenants. Otherwise, oh, it'd be like being Mario and Bowser's like, yes. Prepare Mario for eight worlds of bullshit! And then Mario dies on a Goomba in World 1. And it's like, well... <sighs> um, Thomas had never seen such bullshit before. Ah, appreciate it. Enemy right Bring by it any time. Okay. Hell yeah! First time I did that with that kind of... That's cool. Nope. Juke you, son! Have you heard about the term of get wrecked? Ah, oh, shit, I missed. Bitch. Are they all dead? That... And it went well. Good teamwork, Yakumo. Good teamwork. Ah! Ah! There's holes. So many holes. Like Kid and Kel. Who loves orange soda? I do, I do, I do. Kel loves orange soda. Like, who loves holes? Lunar D8 loves holes. I do, I do, I do. Did anyone ever watch all that with Keenan and Kel? They were both very hilarious. It's kind of like you had a Kel, Keenan and Kel. He was copying Jim Carrey a few things, for example. Which is not bad, and I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm saying it's amazing. Because Jim Carrey was hilarious doing his fire marshal bill. And Kel did repair man 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 and it was very hilarious and I thought it was an amazing homage to Jim Carrey. When did I even pick that up? If I see something that looks like a full on boss, I'm going to run the fuck away from it. Because there's more stuff I want to explore. Um. Hmm. I'm a little worried about that. Wait, if I have to jump down to that, I'm kind of worried. I do have Vivify if I really need to. One ambush after another. It's good wiping them out. Wow. Very good eye. It's hard to miss something when I smash every breakable object I see. Gem. Warrior vestige. Oh. It's like my dick flinches every time I come close to an edge. Sound worries me. Is 
Is there anything on the ground? And nothing pushed me from behind. Please. Ah, I appreciate it. Three of them, huh? Let's give it to no harm in being in there. Fucking! No. No. Stop! I am trying to hit you! Thought we already killed you! Warped Keep? I'd say, look at that fucking icon! The only thing that's gonna fit in there is the tip. <sighs> Defenses are getting tighter. We near the top. Pick up something we can use. Who am I? Am I even Davis cigars? Elevator to where exact? How is there an item here? I feel it'd be a good idea to check the elevator. I kind of scream shortcut to me. This thing sure is taking No. I swear, Damn. like it's I see something. Thank you. Ah, the only way over here. We don't have to jump down anymore. I thought you were an enemy there for a second. I was... While there is a ground there, I'm pretty sure it will hurt us. Hey, this is that elevator. Where is it? At least this is actually much more straightforward. I was worried when I saw the design of this place. I was like, oh no, 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 no. But honestly, this is very straightforward. Every, like, this feels very linear, and I am cool with that. Because I'll say this. Oh, Cathedral did not feel linear at all. So, I mean. I know there are multiple paths I still need to take. This, that was a shortcut back.
Did I already pull this? Must have. Just as ordered. You left. Oh, what's this place? Oh, this is the place I was thinking about dropping from up there. Well, hey, that's, that's in order. order. All right, are you ready, squad? I feel like I still missed something back this way. Oh shit, go pop up. Something good over it. Fuck, fuck, fuck! Motherfucker! I'm blocking! Damn! Map of the depths. Let's take it to Davis. Oh. Do you have any more regen inducers? I could use them. It's shameful. I got I'm sorry to ask, but can you keep Mito out? So leave me here. Go help. I will try. Should hopefully be one more mist around. I don't get to that. Nope, nope, I said no! 
Stop for a second! I'm invisible. I'm invisible! Something I sorely need. I have a max of nine, and I have one more. Which means we can keep exploring Out of healing. for a tad we longer. Glad we came over here for this. I knew I was missing something. But... We are not in the best of shape. I got each one's powered up as a plus five, but how far does that go? I'm pretty sure I have heard that ten's the max amount of healing I can have, so I can get one more, which means we might be getting close to the end game. Please have more regen inducers. That being said, it is pretty and it's great view. Like everything is very aesthetic in this game. At the same time, the fact that it's so realistic enough means it's kind of scary. Which way should I go? I can't remember which way it takes me. Time to head on up. This is new. Um, Hold on, I'm on my way. Pick up something we can use. I'm worried about this. So. Ah, appreciate it. No harm in being prepared. Let's get and the jump on them. This may be cheap, but I don't care. So low on healing, and a group of these enemies all around you could like just really kill you. That's a real gem. Missile root? can be used repeatedly. So that means it lasts forever? Wait, so... So is it infinite uses? Probably once per run, but still, I mean, you only need one use. Unlimited uses. That's... Just don't pass out later, okay? That's amazing, but it makes the whole Vivify skill useless and pointless. It also makes the Vivify item useless, but I'm cool with that. I'm completely cool with that. It's just not... What? Survive that fall. 
Have we been down there? Oh. I don't have much health, though. I don't think I'll survive that long. Besides, I'm not seeing anything down there. That looks like way too much of a gamble. You keep startling me when you do that. These be a missile. Big help. No, stop that. Not okay, but we appreciate if I stop missing. I said stop hitting, I wasn't talking to Lunar D8. Missile, please. Missile? Not quite, but... Pick up something we can use? Something that, ah yes, I indeed very much can use. So it was good to come this way, but... Getting very concerned over my healing situation. Visibility for when I want to try to cheese things. Oh, don't fall off the edge. Argent Wolf Key. Fought a character called Argent Wolf Berserker. So hopefully I don't have to walk all the way back. You okay. Okay, I think there's an alternative path. Here's there. a fight that looks interesting. Where? You're concerning me with that. Cause anytime the music picks up. Because it means there's an enemy attacking me, but I'm like, I don't see anyone. Where is it coming from? Time to head on up. Oh. I go forward just enough to. Ah, I appreciate it. Grab that? No. That's a nice thing to have around. Also, it's a safety hazard to have giant stab your foot spikes. What if you fall straight down from the ladder? You die. OSHA would hate this place. Look at the complete lack of guardrails. I'm in an animation! 
Roll, 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 roll. Push it, and roll. Ah! I'm invisible. I'm invisible! So where was that ladder? Hmm. Were we unprepared? Nope, there's just a shit ton of fucking enemies. Somehow I got our regen inducer. If I could have used that at some point. Then why did I have 14? They think they no can stop me. us there. <laughs> Stop the dickery. What the fuck is this? The first fucking enemy. How am I taking that much? No, no, lock. Thank you. Okay, where are these ladders that we lowered? At least that's very straightforward. Unlike the Cathedral of the Sacred Blood, which was not straightforward, at least this is straightforward. Alright, this should take me up. Thank you, Pillar. Pick up something we can use? Looks like we're in for a rough time. But the shortcuts definitely help out immensely. Still not this actually is the room well, where we died. Let's take our time. Just kind of be extra safe. Heal max. Pick up the souls, pick up the souls, pick up the souls. Bitch, bitch, bitch! Um. 
I'm glad you mentally checked out for the fight. It would have been much harder if you were trying to kick my ass at the same time. So thank goodness. Thank you. Appreciate it. Whoa, that looked weird. Yep, the game is rewarding me for my natural impulse to break all the shit. Very good eye. Sushi tacos. What? Uh, sushi a tacos. Well, very though then. Oh. At least this game seems much more fair when it comes to checkpoints. Dark Souls would be like, oh, we're going to have our checkpoint at the previous boss, and you have to run through the entire world to get to said boss. This game's like, oh, you got an air missile. Must be a boss. So I appreciate that. Awesome, you know what? Teleport. Home base. So I'm pretty sure I have enough stuff in order to, you know, soup up my items a little bit. Oh, hey, Jack. I have to thank you again for what you did for Eva. So... You can make other people's power your own by taking on their blood. You'll need strength for the battles ahead. I'll okay, so I got your blood code now. What is your blood code? Six. Yeah? Heimdall. Okay. It's totally you've done so. Don't be shy. Go on and take my blood code. Oh. I didn't do that already? You're the person I've talked to the most, with the exception of EO. Because I upgrade my weapons through you. Hephaestus. Okay, that kind of makes sense with the weapons thing. Don't forget to check your upgrade. What do you want to upgrade? Ponybane. Let's make that a little stronger. So how much? Tungsten. Okay, so we Very well then. Uh, Which 
fail. Do you want to upgrade? I'm not sure if it's really worth it. Like, I have limited titanium. Do you want to transform? That being said, what can I transform this into? I have lightning power. Not sure if any of that's actually worth it. Make sure you get back safe. All right, I got blood codes. Well, I think I have stuff to talk to you about first. Is Ava here? Or oh, she's chill chilling in that ruins. I thought maybe the world inside the mist was all that was left after the Great Collapse. Knowing that there's still a world outside, but if we stop now, the people cannot let Nicola guided me. <laughs> you sure? Thanks. We're here. I'd be worried about burning myself all these candles. What is it? For some reason this reminds me of Doctor Who when he's hearing the song of the Ood as well as the song of it's like it reminds me of Doctor Who um, I believe it was David Tennant was the one at that time. Don't get me wrong, I like David Tennant and Christopher Eccleston and Matt Smith, but I like Peter Capaldi the best. But everyone's got their preference of doctors. That was a short memory. I don't understand the sin within us. What could it be that I have somehow managed to forget? What is it? Morisame! So you're the one who voiced the exam. Did you have previous training? Well, a bit of gymnastics. Gymnastics? Wait, wait. You're Murasame the gymnast? I guess that does explain it. We're signing you to Team 2 for the time being. But war is in a sport. So why is it, if you're so skilled at stuff, why are you not an option for being a teammate? I mean, Jack seems to be an option now. I really didn't care for him. Yet another record for lost killed my son. I hear some of the others have even started calling me Yakuza. You do what I can. Well, we all hope you keep it up.
Good news. You're being promoted. We want you in charge of our scouts. Are you sure? Basically, they all got killed. You blame yourself. And you have very bad PTSD from it. Which is understandable, because you're fighting monsters. Hell, I'm pretty sure, you know, any soldier, police officer, firefighter, paramedic, I mean, somebody, anyone in any job, if you're exposed to something where your life is on the line, or other people's lives are on the line, or other people's lives are in your hands, or you're having to hurt people, or you're having to save people, or if you're having to witness, you know, people die or gore, After I I, I'm pretty friend, sure that's something that's... Absorbed with following my orders. And those orders told me to fight. But it's just, it that's not what human beings are meant to do. The despair I saw around me each day. But now, well, I'm not even good enough to fight. It's possible that there's something I can learn from my old memories. I've never been much of a fighter. I'm terrible at it. Most of my fighting just consists of me getting my ass kicked. At the same time, though, I feel like it's important for me to remember. Back then, I didn't worry much about getting turned into ash. To be honest, I might have been a bit self-destructive. Anyway, regardless of whether it's earned or not, Yaksha is a heck of a thing for someone to call a sweet young woman. I'm not entirely sure, but my understanding is that it's some sort of fighting devil. At least they weren't calling you Yujiro. You have to be so rude. Well, they meant it with respect. What is it? Oh, so they all... Okay. Greetings. My name is Rin Murasami, and I will be your new captain. It's a pleasure to meet all of you. No kidding. So you're the maniac they call Yaksha. How old are you anyway? Sixteen. You're still, You're still just, just a, kid. a kid. Is this a practical joke? Hey, skill is skill. I will say this. I used to... I took three years of Spanish in high school. I got a base 100% A on everything. I could write essays hey, in you? Spanish. I don't remember how to say anything. I was an Eagle Scout. I don't remember any survival skills I learned in Scouts. Not that I ever had a sense of direction. We got a fire breathing captain here. Yeah, it seems like no one's respecting her just based on her age. No, in math I did like calculus and sciences, so like physics. But and I got would get like a 4.0 average. But I don't remember how to do anything. I probably couldn't do basic math anymore. I probably couldn't do some of the basics chemistry equations. I was anymore. desperate to succeed. I had been tasked with leading the elite and maintaining their trust. Force was the only way I knew to earn their respect. Yeah, I guess so. Anyway, if you happen to track down any more of my memories, could you let me know? Uh, if it's not too much trouble for you, I mean. I would really appreciate your help. What is it? Lost, Lost down. down! Captain, Captain bagged, bagged another, another one. one. We're running into more into of them more. now. The Queen's gotta be close. Captain. 
We found the queen. Good. We need to contact the HQ right away. Captain, I really don't think we have time for that. What do you mean? The Lost have us completely surrounded. What was that sound effect? Hey, it's not your fault. You basically wound up in an unwinnable situation. You did the best you could, and what the best you could was actually very good. Better than what... Heck, even if you had done a bad job, it would be better than what most people have done. You did a good job. It's just... The odds are just way too stacked against you. I remember now. All of our escape routes were cut off by the lost. We were losing more troops by the minute. Seeing them fall. Well, that's <laughs> hell. That's normal. I couldn't lead. Each I mean, scream sent a new bolt of fear through me until it turned into panic. That's called being human. I came to my senses. I was all alone. I couldn't see any sign of either my squad or the lost. I think I must have run away from the battle in my panic. Left everyone in my squad behind to their fates. Yeah, it was too much. I'm afraid if things get too hot, I'll take off and abandon my comrades again. Thanks. It feels better to know why I feel the way I do. Hey. It's called being human. Hey, anyone out there ever watch Hercules: The Legendary Journeys with Kevin Sor Sor Kevin Sorbo? It's actually a really good series. That and there's also Xena too, which is also really good. Bruce Campbell is even a Atollic, not a yeah, Atollicus, the King of Thieves, in that. Bruce Campbell's pretty. He's, he's an awesome actor. That being said. Kevin Sorbo did a great job as Hercules. But there was this guy, I think Sam Raimi or something like that. I think he was actually one of the writers for um, Hercules. He was a traveling salesman called uh, Sal Salmonius. He was like one of Hercules' best friends along with Eolus. And he would actually travel with Hercules. But there was like one episode early on where there's like a ambush with a lot of boulders coming down where they get collapsed and they're in a situation where they're going to get crushed by rocks and Hercules hold up and he's like but in the end you know he has to basically help Aeolus help Sal Salmonius out because Salmonius just freezes up in terror and afterward he starts beating himself up calling himself a coward and feeling that he doesn't deserve to travel Hercules anymore Hercules is like hey it's perfectly fine you're not used to this sort of stuff yet you know Risking your life and being in a scary situation is not something that's for everyone. And even then, even for the people it is for, you know, it usually takes a great deal of courage and endurance and experience to be able to get into that. And even then, there are some people who are in a situation like that, that eventually it becomes too much for them. Which is not anything bad on them, it's just, it's just called being human. But it just everyone has different tolerances, and even then, those tolerances change. Sometimes people get stronger, sometimes we get weaker. It doesn't mean you're weaker or stronger as a person. It just means sometimes your reserves of energy or mental fortitude can run down. Same way, if you physically exhaust yourself too much or emotionally exhaust yourself too much, your central nervous system can get worn out from both things, or an overload of cortisol, or just your central nervous system can only take so much. What is it? I don't think I could ever, 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 ever be any of those people. Because I don't think I would be able to handle that pressure. I think I would just break under it. Not to mention I would 
consider such thing to be very painful. Hey, hey, what'd you do to the captain? I knocked her out. Just look at her. Oh, that's, that's you guys knocked her out and took her to safety. Her Yaksha or whatever the hell we want, but she's a 16-year-old girl, and it's too early for her to die. Well, that is very chivalrous. Listen up, everyone. I'm assuming field command of this operation as of right now, and we are getting the captain out of here. Understood? Well, I guess that's an order. All right. Are you ready, squad? That is very chivalrous. Sir, sir. Speaking of which, has anyone out there read Don Quixote? If not, I strongly recommend it. Heck, there was even a movie made at one point where John Lithgow, an amazing actor, John Lithgow played Don Quixote. And it was an uh, old man during the time of the Renaissance reading books about chivalrous knights and medieval ages, which even then were doctored up. Because real, let's be honest, real medieval knights back then, from the other stories you see, they were not like, you know, King Arthur and shit. They were bastards a lot of times. A lot of times taking advantage of women and doing horrible, deplorable things like that. But Don Quixote read the uh, romanticized stories about honor and chivalry and your duty and bravery. And he looked at the world around and he felt men nowadays don't live up to those standards of bravery and goodness. And so, also in what is assumed to be Alzheimer's, He's also a little bit out of it, but he wants to, because he's an old man, but he wants to be a hero. He wants to live up to those standards of his anime heroes, of his movie heroes, because that's basically what those romanticized night stories were to people in the Renaissance. They were like Keanu Reeves to all of us. Or Bruce Lee, or Jackie Chan, or Chuck Norris, or Arnold Schwarzenegger. But trying to live up to those standards, in terms of what is displayed in the movies, let's be clear. A movie is a movie. And Jackie Chan, albeit Jackie Chan is probably the most, if not the most, skilled martial artist. And he is absolutely amazing. He does all his stunts. But that being said, he pays a price for those stunts. Jackie Chan has broken so many bones, strained so many muscles, torn so many ligaments. He has parts of his skull that are missing. And although Jackie Chan has is extremely skilled and has put forth so much time and training, and he took every precaution to not hurt himself while doing stunts, he still got injured so many times and broke so many bones. And there were some times that his crew and his cast had to actually stop him and cut things down a little bit from what he wanted to do out of concern that he might die in order to protect him from himself from going too far. In addition to that, there was a scene where Jackie Chan's doing this thing. I don't know if you guys are familiar with it. You know those Japanese fans those big things that are sometimes used as a weapon, like, you know, from, like, uh, Katana and stuff, or Jade and Mil Melina from Mortal Kombat. You know, Jackie Chan has some of those big fans. He says he likes them because they're just, they're very flashy, they're very good in terms of choreography and for movies. But, another thing is this, Jackie Chan says that he likes to train the people that he works with, and he, he finds, Jackie Chan said one of the scariest things that comes when doing stunts in martial arts is... Doing a martial arts stunt and karate stuff with people that he's not worked with before. He prefers to train the people and work with them and teach them before he does a stunt with them. Because he wants to know exactly how they're going to move. You know, that degree of unpredictability from somebody who's new, he feels it increases the risk greatly that he can get hurt. And he's right. He's trying not to hurt others. He's trying not to hurt himself. Because keep in mind, while he is a great martial artist, I mean, at the end of the day, he's trying not to hurt his co-workers. 
because you know if he was actually punching everyone, no one would want to you know film with him because they would probably die. So you try not to kill your coworkers. You know you're all friends, but even then, is the Jackie Chan broke so many things. And there was a thing where like with the fan, where he did this like you saw a take where he did this amazing thing with a fan where it flipped up and he did all these moves. And it was like, it took the span like 10 seconds to see. And you're like, wow. In 10 seconds, he did this amazing thing. And it's like, that's incredible. That's beyond belief. That must be just because Jackie Chan's so amazing. And then Jackie Chan looks at the camera and you say, ja- you see Jackie Chan do that. And you think Jackie Chan good. It's like, no, Jackie Chan not good. Jackie Chan. Practice. It take. You see that? Jackie Chan not good. Jackie, took Jackie Chan 180 takes 180 takes Grayley he said it a bit better than me but if you can look up that clip but Jackie Chan basically said Grayley I feel he was being a bit modest because he's got a healthy body he worked hard for he's got a great deal of skill and experience that makes him absolutely amazing and of course the guts to go along with it but that being said, he admitted that it took that little take that took like 10 seconds of us watching it. It took him 180 takes over the course of hours just to film that. And of course, it's not like the first time he ever picked up one of his fans. He had trained with that stuff and worked with it and did stuff like that in the past. But just to film that little, with even with previous skill and experience with using those fans in that way, it still took him 180 plus takes. It still took him hours to get that clip filmed right. And that's one thing to say. It's like any skill you want to do, persistence. But beyond that, you know, if you're going to do something, it's also going to be something you really enjoy. Like I have books on drawing and I have, I have a guitar. It's an Epiphone SG and it's just... I have played some stuff in the past and but I haven't really played my guitar much at all lately or drawn. I really don't have a skill or talent for it. And while I technically could improve upon it, it's just... My desire to do so just comes and goes. Like I just don't really feel like I want to sometimes. So, and I'm not going to do it if, I, if it's not something I'm enjoying. Same thing with this. Playing these games, apparently it's a lot easier to play a video game and enjoy it. And if you don't like it, just make it every game. But at the end of the day, even if it's a game I'm getting frustrated with, and I know I'm going to get so frustrated with Isaac when Repentance comes out, because it's going to be the definitive version with the most stuff to unlock, and it's everything's going to be tweaked to make it harder than any other version of Isaac that has ever existed. And of course, my Ultra Impossible self imposed challenge is going to literally be Ultra Impossible. I am literally going to make a game based on RNG that is meant to be hard. I'm going to dial the hardness up way past 11 and a game that already uses RNG to punish you. I am going to re- introduce even more RNG that the game was never intended to have to just make it brutal. And it's just, don't expect good gameplay and that. Expect frustration and failure. And it's just going to be me dying repeatedly and making no progress. And I am going to do terrible in that game. And I am going to be yelling and cussing at it. And getting so annoyed. But at the end of the day, I'm still going to enjoy playing that game. Same with the end of the dungeon. You know, even though I was bad at it, I still enjoyed it. And I never could beat it, but I still had fun playing it. Though I don't really feel the desire to play it anymore. But that's the thing. If it's fun for me, I'll do it. And recording these videos, I think it's fun. I like it. It's a great way for me to express myself. And hopefully you guys out there, one, get entertainment from this, laugh at my silly commentary, and, well, as weird and fucked up as a person as I am, well... Even if you don't find me funny or entertaining, you can at least listen to me and realize that you are normal. You're at least normal compared to me. So, at the very least, I can make you guys feel better about yourselves. And you guys can have better self-esteem yourself. 
or just have somebody that if you do feel the same way as me, then you can have somebody to relate to, and you at least won't feel alone then. So, and that's the main thing the Let's Plays were for me in the past, and I still enjoy watching I watch Tear Grace and stuff, because one, it's funny, it's entertaining, but also because there's a distance, even before the whole social distance of the pandemic. Even though we have all this technology to talk to people, it feels like we're all more distant to each other. And a lot of times it's either a mix between my emotions bounce back and forth between feeling very antisocial to where I'm scared and paranoid and just angry and terrified of everyone to just being so very lonely and feeling like there's no one out the world that even wants to talk to me and feeling that all my friends have abandoned me and that I'm all alone. So watching listening Let's Plays helps me feel like I'm not alone. Granly, Brett Tear from Tear Grace, I don't think has ever responded to a single one of my comments. And then again, he has thousands of people constantly commenting, so... And I've never gone on to his actual Twitch channel. I watch his recorded Twitch videos on YouTube, but I've never actually gone on the Twitch site. The last time I ever went on the Twitch site was back when Ultra J-Man was playing Battle Kid 2 Mountain of Torment, and that was probably about a decade ago. I hear Twitch has become mostly just like an OnlyFans thing with just men and women just getting on there and being naked or talking about political things or just doing very odd things. Plus there's the whole VTuber community, which is, it's interesting. And Nux Taku recently paid to get himself a VTube thing, which it's interesting, but the fact that it cost him $10,000 is like, holy shit! I mean, I don't think I've ever even seen $10,000 at one time. Because anytime I get a decent amount of money, I have to use a lot of bills or something. I was still... At least I had enough money to do all the overtime I worked to be able to buy this gaming laptop. And get some games and stuff like that, and it's... I think it was very worth it. I'm enjoying recording these videos a lot. And like I said... At work, I can at least pretend I'm happy. No one knows I'm depressed. I can put a smile on, put a cheery voice on, and I don't have to worry about any of that here with YouTube. If I feel like being angry or cussing or just being however I feel, I can just be me. I don't have to filter anything for you guys. I can literally just be the horrible, fucked-up monster that I am. And... that's okay here. I can cuss and be angry and just be a dumbass and fail at simple things that anyone else should succeed at. But like I said, hopefully these videos are entertaining, they're funny, they're relatable, they make you guys feel more normal, or at least that there's somebody weirder than you, <laughs> so you feel more better about yourselves and builds your own self-esteem. Or just if you are lonely out there, then maybe just listening to this random crazy person ramble makes you feel less lonely. Other than that, no matter who you are out there, just know, love yourself, and even if you don't have anyone at the time being no matter how hopeless it might seem, just have faith that one day you actually will, you know, have whatever it is that your heart needs in order for you to feel complete. Until then, just love yourself and try to take an extra nap here and there, drink some Pepsi, you know, listen to some good music like Rammstein or Tattoo or System Down or something. And just find something that makes you happy. Or at least distracts you from not being happy. Until you can find what does make you happy. So, and above all, 
Be kind to yourself and be kind to others. Well, let's go into the light. No, they just cared about you. Constantly berating them, telling them they were weak and useless. Why would they want to protect someone like that? Because they understood. I'm not sure if there's a correct choice here. Like both things sound good. He was their commander, and they treated me like a little kid. Of all the stupid, sentimental. Hey. That sentimentality actually is good. For if people, I saw right? any of you today, I'd hug you till you turn blue. I would actually like you to hug me. Thank you for this. I can't remember last time I physically touched a human being. Other than hugging my parents. Well, hugging my mom. My dad's not really an emotional <laughs> person. Others who did their best for me. I have to honor their sacrifices. Pandemic and lockdown pandemic stuff kind of keeps people in isolation, even from family. And making new friends or compatriots is difficult. What is it? Seems I can restore the blood code of a vestiges crew. If you find any vestiges, it could be a chance to grant you additional. You are going now? Take. I've got a whole new. But serious. Sorry. We don't deal in human blood here. Other merchants might not mind, but I don't like the idea. I may be a revenant, but I won't. Go out there and. It's a bit late, Fringe. We'll be fighting together. The Jail of the Mist. The barrier that I that shows you don't have to. The situation is constant. Right. Honestly, I want to jump right into action, but... I'll lead the way. Just tell me where we're going. I'll come back to that. The depths are a complex of open mist and the loss. It's only natural. The depths are... Please, take... Oh, here you are, Ava. I thought I'd never see Jack again. I'm Thank glad you. you're able to hang out with us. I'm Eva Rue, successor of the Relic of the Throat and watcher of the relics. I'll be staying here for a while, so let me know if you need help with your exploration. Oh, you can actually be my partner in combat. You've helped me more than you can know. From just say the word, if you ever. I the will. The loss of the mist invites total ruin. Consider that your your face kind of reminds me of I uh, think Professor Stein from Soul Eater, except while well, he's a person I would want to be, you're a person I would want to. Be. Honestly, right now, I'd like to just pull this chair up next to her and set my head on her chest and just... Okay. So, speaking of that... We have a hot spring. And I haven't seen her in a towel. So... Here's Eo. Here's Tao. Mia, Coco. And like I said, at least with anime, like, there's not a single person that's drawn in an unappealing way.
What if there's a special thing if I do the enter hot spring from over here? No, I can't be like, and everyone's like, why are you over there? Like, I'm shy. That being said, this is a very pretty nice map. How would you guys feel if these orange, like, glowstone things actually exist in real life? Why can't I, like, do a doggy paddle to swim around? Oh! You know how I said there was a cutscene that you guys missed? Heard somebody get in the water. All right. What are you doing? Stretching? Okay. But yeah, I told you guys you guys missed a cutscene from earlier about Mido being a jackass. Oh wow, there's a lot. Ah, this is it. Miguel's memory reveals the scientist Mido is still performing experiments. We vow to end them and prevent any further suffering. Well known and celebrated as a scientific genius. But he used orphans like us as guinea pigs for his twisted experiments, then sold us all into slavery as enhanced soldiers. How awful. He always told us humanity is but a stepping stone to the future, and curiosity is the philosopher's stone of evolution. His experiments never ended. He used my friends over and over again, like... like they were just objects. Mido, you bastard. We'll make you pay for what you've done.
could have sworn that cutscene was a little longer. Okay. I'm back. I don't know how long. I actually thought the cutscene was going to still be playing. But yeah, I had to go pee. I'm done peeing now. Oh yeah, I had to go pee. I'm back though. Do you want to upgrade? Yeah. But yeah, I had to pee. Thought the cutscene would actually uh, last that long. I've already seen the cutscene myself. Let's buy a few things and then we'll try to finish the Crypt Spire. Spire Crypt? Crypt Spire, I think. I'll, I'll see what it is when I go there. Alright, yeah, I should read people's abilities. Okay, I already looked at these guys. Uh, these are three new ones. Uh, Murasami's assistant, Murasami herself, and Jack. So, Night Fog. Okay. No. Maybe. Makes gifts easier to master. That's a great pass. That's also really good.
Okay. Let's see what we can do in Crypt Spire. Um, I feel like it's too soon to fight Nido, and Silva's apparently the person I'm going to find whenever I get to the government building. So... Am I going to fight a Chimera? Okay. So what do we got going on? Um... <laughs> you aren't too hard to work with. What is this? Cutscene. I was gonna run up and stab it in the face. Hello? Not sure who you are. Are you Silva? I've seen him once before. I want to double check to make sure it's recording. Granted, it's kind of far into the recording to want to double check this. But... Yes, it is recording, and it is getting a bit long. This sounds like Final Fantasy music. You know I'd love to stay and greet you properly. Then why don't you? What? You have robots? No. And how were they? The humble hors d'oeuvres that I so generously prepared for you. All of the lost here. They were your experiments? You're insane. Ah, the main course has just arrived. Uh, this worries me. Okay. I'm okay with this now. I'm okay with this now. I will definitely eat that. But yeah, back to what I was saying. Does anyone get Ornstein and Smog um, flashbacks here? Because I don't know about you guys, but that was... Very... Very okay. Yeah. What does that say? Not good, but definitely I can't say not good to that. Holy shit! Let's do our scene Uh, cannoneer and blood bear. Ow, blade bear. I feel like the game l lagged there for a second. Okay, I have decent damage, but holy shit, the amount of people trying to punch me is more than I appreciate. Um... Ah! I'm trying to dodge you! Yes! You're so fat I can't miss you! You're half as fat as I am! Okay, I need to get away from this. Okay, they at least seem to like focusing on him, but I need to help him before he dies. Okay, I used my skill in the middle of both of them and missed them both. Okay, he's about to go down. I need to heal. Because I'm not going to get a chance to heal here in a second. Heal, heal, heal. Yakumo's about to go down. Almost got the cannoneer down. Yes! Now! For you! Can I get close to you? Oh no! That's bad. That's bad. Yakumo. Use the skill. Use the skill. Oh, I can't use that skill right now. Shit, 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 shit! No, we're so close! 
No! No! I say no! No! Okay, roll it! Roll! Roll! Roll seems to be very effective. Heal? Why didn't heal work? He ah! Heal. Roll! Roll! Roll actually seems very effective with this character. Roll! Roll three strikes and... About to say heal after the third one, but... Okay, this is actually doable, but... I need to have a little bit better luck. But I actually... Okay, so this is doable. But... Our gear might not be cutting it. Yeah. I think we did pretty good. Okay. Go with this. That. Go with this. Go with this. I'll go with this. And switch to healing. And we'll run in there and try to hit people before my shit runs out. No At least they don't see us. Because we I have a cheap son of a bitch. Fuck. Okay, I am taking a bit more damage than I would like right now. Look at my health. that I had much, but still. Shit! Damn it, you... Do How did you dodge me? I missed too much with that skill. Why am I so bad at aiming? Oh shit. Oh shit, I have to fight both of them. I have to- Ah! Stop! We went okay for a moment. Okay, um, hopefully I'm not screwing myself over by using these things, but... That's a big help. Okay, hopefully yeah, this stuff lasts long enough to stay relaxed and focused. Bring it any time. How are you're invisible?
Why does it miss anytime I use a skill? Nope, nope, nope! I do not appreciate heal. I'm dodging! Stop stabbing me! It's like I twirl out of the way of hurting it. Ow! Nope, 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 I don't. Not appreciated. Pick up the souls. Heal. Nope! Heal. Ow! I don't like that stabbing. Ow! I twirled into my own destruction! I'm not sure if heal- Oh shit, fucks. I don't have much healing! Behind the pole, heal. Roll. Fuck! It's like I'm doing okay, and then it's just once Yakumo goes down. I imagine soloing this game would really have to- you'd have to actually play it like Dark Souls. Where you'd actually have to play with skill. Well, this is starting to... Okay, I need to change that skill. I keep missing with that. What's a skill I actually could hit? I mean, Prepare now, sure. so you don't regret it later. Honestly, Triple Annihilator might be my best bet. Oh, but I am worried about it. Let's get a little closer. Maybe my stat Time boost. For payback, huh? Okay. So no harm in being prepared. Damn it, you son of a bitch! It's not what I wanted to do. Time to kick ass. Use the damn thing. Where's the invisibility? Hopefully this stuff lasts long enough for me to do this. Okay. I'm invisible. You shouldn't be able to do anything about this. Okay, I'm glad that hit. Why is my electricity already worn off? I'm dodging you! You do three slices. I can't see you. Oh, glit. Oh, load. Loading is working really odd right now. I really wish the healing worked a little bit better. Okay, I'm behind a pillar. I'm just. The pillar doesn't seem to be that much help. Okay, behind the pillar better. I'm behind it. Oh, you can freaking do that. I am trying to pump up some skills. Triple annihilate. Triple annihilate. Triple. Tri trip. Triple. An oh, why can't I? Triple annihilate. Triple annihilate. We have to take this one out. We have to take this one out. We have to take at least one out. Are you fucking... Thank you. Thank you so much. Heal, heal. No! What? He healed? What? What? What's happening? Damn. Yakumo, distract him. Long enough for me to heal to fall! Okay, we gotta take this guy. Yakumo, assistance please! What the... I'm rolling! Is it? Don't they say stop, drop, and roll? Shit. Heal. I'm running! 
how am I supposed to? Triple Annihilator. I missed with half of it. Roll. Run. Heavy. We did it. Oh. Yes. Oh. Fuck. Damn. That was close, but we did it. Holy shit. We have to avenge all of them, too. That monster's cruelty ends here. You know what? Just because I don't know what to expect, and there's a missile right here. Now, if Ornstein and Smell come back to life, I quit. I quit the game. I'm just turning it off. You're, you're never seeing this video. I quit. <laughs> it's like, no. Okay, I'm at least going to level 120. There. Oh. And you know what, actually? Now, let's keep going. I was like, oh, let's call it a part. I know this part's going on a little long, but... How do I get tungsten? Well, stop right there, Mito. <sighs> Your persistence is tiring. So tell me. Just what exactly are you after, anyway? What do you have to gain in reviving the Queen? <coughs> reviving the Queen? <laughs> Did we say something dumb? What's so damn funny? I've collected enough data already. I have no more use for the Queen. Okay, Mecca. Then why? Broly Hojo. Let me ask you something. Do you ever sit back and wonder why you were created in the first place? Or why revenants have power far beyond that of mere humans? That's simple. Everyone knows it was to stop the Queen when she frenzied. Aren't you forgetting something? The day of the Great Collapse? The creatures that caused all that ruin. 
Both Revenants and the Queen were created to eliminate those horrors. So what were those horrors? And yet, they are all still incomplete. I wanted to witness Gregorio's monstrous transformation with my own eyes. But sadly, it cannot be. Okay, now I get to fight you, and then I have to go fight Gregorio Silva, successor of the dicks! Um... What? What? Super Android 13? Okay. What? What? That can't be. The cage is unlocked. What? I tried to tilt the camera up. It's a cutscene. Did we let Alucard from Helsing out? What? Are you Silva? I can't remember anymore. Yep, you're Silva. It's Immortan Joe! Why is your chest more CGI than the rest of the game? That was non-consensual. Also, what is with the giant ass throne? Oakley Dokley and blood comes up through the cracks. No? Is he a werewolf dude? Silva, silver bullet, werewolf, Father Gascon. We're fighting Bloodborne now. I really recommend Raging Luke. Goro as a werewolf? Where lion? Where lion? Remove the red mist. Right, Gregorio Silver was maintaining the red mist. And since he kind of got a uh, triple shot and become forced to frenzy, the red mist is now gone. <coughs> is that a Pokeball? Mist is fading. We can go out. We can leave. Well, the human race is fucked. Yes, we're free. We Stab him through the chest with a bayonet. Prison. I really thought they were going to do that with us. Like, we're free. Psh! We've been here so long. How many decades have you guys been doing this? What the fuck is this? 
Well, we at least got that answer about the uh, the horrors that the uh, the queen and the revenants were originally created to fight. But what caused that? Like, I understand the revenants and the queen and the lost are all results of human experimentation to create weapons that can fight these things. But where? Did Griever, as a species from Final Fantasy VIII Summons, Guardian Forces come from? What, are they fucking Lunar Cried from the Moon? Isn't fading. Maybe Silva's was more of a badass than you thought. Somehow he still resists. Stop and finish. I'll finish you with my own hands. How can you still not understand? You all saw them too. Can you explain where the they came from? Is overrun with creatures that devour where? Did they come from the moon? They will be the source of even greater strength for all revenants. Evolution is everything. It is our duty, our very hope as a species. Where did they come from? Are they from Jupiter? Are they from Titan? Didn't see that, the blind fool. So he created the red mist as a cage and sealed away all his research. He was satisfied with merely eliminating the feeble horrors within his pen and thus foolishly halted the march of progress. Well, survival does take precedence. But the horrors outside continue. Why do you have the soul edge from Soul Caliber? And became an existential threat. You fools noticed nothing. Our prison of red mist became a barricade, protecting revenants from the horrors that awaited them beyond its borders. All this time you were being shielded by Gregorio from reaching your true potential. The hypocrisy turns my stomach. Where did they come from? And ascend the ladder of evolution together. You know, I'm all for like helping people learn to swim. But shoving them in the deep end with rocks attached to them will get them drowned. This is terrible. A pity. Those who are too weak to keep up with the speed of progress do not deserve to live. Your social Darwinism is bullshit. We will stop. For all they've done for everyone. The people are people. Have suffered in regardless if they're handicapped or anything injured. They're still people. Can't just kill everyone. Fucking bastard. We're fighting. Okay, we're Fighting Soul Calibur 7 boss. Hitler. We're fighting Dickler. Stickler! No oh my god, I'm fighting Dickler! I wasn't expecting a fight with Dickler. I was expecting successor of the Dicks. Not Dickler himself. Heir of the Dicks. At least it's a single opponent. I need to not be so overwhelmed by fighting Hitler. Leave me alone, Hitler. I don't like. Ah, oh, shit! Shit, 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 Hitler! No! Hitler, I said no! Fucking. 16 health. 
Just gonna stand here and shove things into myself. I'm ca- Oh, no! Yakumo, go get- Okay, at least this is a much not-so-punishing fight. Nice if I could use my skills, you inhibiting son of a bitch! Please heal me, please heal me, please heal me. Please heal me, please heal me, please heal me. We were so close, Yakumo. That's... Son of a bitch. Oh, you're up again. Son of a bitch. Fuck you, Hitler. I'm glad I went back to the fucking missile. Ah. <sighs> Ah, I appreciate it. Okay, Shitler, round two. Bring it any time. I take so long to recover my stamina. No, no, no. Ow. Do I lose stamina? Oh fuck! One health! Thank you! Skill that saves me from- Oh shit. Ah! Okay, you're a dick, Shitler. Fuck you, Shitler. Okay, round three, Aberdolph Lakler. Okay. Roll block! Can't let you have your way, Eric Cartman. Charge. 
Ow! Heal. Lock. Lock. It didn't help much. Giacomo, please? Fucking Eric Cartman! It's gotta be a trick to it. We won't give up. We almost had it. You know what? I remember there being a skill that I have not been using. up with you is working out pretty well. I want to try something. Now before I go The biggest thing I want to try, as you see, I have the adrenaline and power, the blood barrier. Double check your gear, okay? And it really allows me to heal a little bit while taking damage. So 
an increased defense. And I have fire now instead of lightning. But the biggest thing is that skull icon you see in the bottom in that top diamond in the bottom triangle in the bottom diamond of the top diamond the, the skull it's called final journey it should increase all my stats a great deal but will kill me in like three minutes sorry so means you're a lot stronger but you're like trying to Okay, so this, this, this. That's a big help. And that on. And that on. And that. Don't run too far ahead. Okay. That. But why am I even doing that? Final journey. We gotta go now, or else we're gonna die. I should have done it closer. Bring it any time. In the way of Let's see if I can do this. Also, get ready. Oh, I'm about to die. <laughs> Gotta do this now. Come on, Yakumo, we can do this. Please help me, Yakumo. Please help me. We were very close, Yakumo. Okay, I... <sighs> That's doable ish. Um, we're basically like Kaiokening times 10,000 using the Kaioken times 20. But it, honestly, if the fight takes more than three minutes, I'm losing anyway. Don't run too far ahead. Okay. Okay. That's a big help. Try to heal! Yakumo, please. Yakumo, please. I'm right here. You, no one was attacking you at that moment. I'm going through so many items trying to kill Eric Cartman. It was right there, I could have gone the other way, but no. 
<sighs> ah, I appreciate it. Bring it any time. Thank you. I'm trying to dodge. Nope, 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 no, no. What the fuck? Dude. Not appreciated. Please heal me, Yakumo. Yakumo, 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 Yakumo. We almost had him, Yakumo. We almost had him. Sorry. Moving out. <sighs> That's a big help. Visibility. Some more picker. Journey. Use. And now I can't use skills. You're an ass. Oh. Yakumo. Oh, he tried to. He tried to heal me and he sent his spirit to me and he. Uh, one more try. One more try. We need one more thing to help us. What on earth could help? Whatever. Consume HP instead of stamina. Honestly, might be my best bet. This last try that I'm gonna save, and I'll probably level grind. Hold on, I'm on my way. Oh shit. I'm low on acre, so. Yeah. 
Let's see what we can do then. Ah, I appreciate it. Damn, I don't even have enough to use Free Final it. Journey. Damn. What's happening half the time? Oh, I can't use the skills. I can't do anything. Shit, we have to finish it now. I missed him! How did I miss? No! Oh my god! That was close. Yes! Fuck you! What are you, Perfect Cell? I'm perfect, I kinda... Fuck you, Perfect Cell. You pompous jackass. Okay. And... Okay. He deserved worse. Judging by the state of the red mist, I guess that Silva is in a lull at the moment. Still, he has to be on the brink of frenzy. That means it's only a matter of time. Is there a way we can prevent it? Are you sure? Physically, it is possible. You might be able to take on Silva's relic. But if you do, it will mean taking on Silva's mission as well. And that will not be an easy burden to bear. Yeah, he's got a sick chair down there. Our world cannot survive without the power of the Red Mist. And that means you would have to sit on that throne forever. That's fine! But you jackasses should come visit me! I, yes, I'm okay with that, on the condition that you guys come visit me! And bring me candy and a good food, and, yes, I expect hugs, I expect you guys to come by, and, and actually show up and talk to me. You know, it's not like you have to lock me up in that room and ignore me. You guys can come visit me every day. We can have a slumber party on the weekends, hell. Good thing I'm around to help lift it. So I mean, you don't have to just lock me in the room and throw Big Macs to me. We're friends. We'll you guys can chill yeah. with me. Bring a fucking PS2. We can have a TV down there. I can sit on my fucking throne like Conker's Bad Fur Day. And out of freaking Conan the Barbarian, play some Ray Fence and Musashi. Fuck. Ah, that's that, I guess. I probably have enough for one level up. Also, I have new weapons. What on earth are they? Okay, Judgment Edge. It's apparently a really strong sword. Holy shit. Oh, right. Not so much. I was comparing it to the Bayonet. Uh, compared to my sword, it's really not much. 
then again, I mean, my sword's plus nine, I think. So that makes a big difference. But even then, I'll equip it to at least see what it looks like. Okay, I have the Soul Edge from Soul Calibur. I am Nightmare. Oh, my soul is from the previous thing. They're still here. Glad we didn't lose that. Not sure how much was there. Probably not much. Like five. Okay, what else do we have? Uh, Ice Blood. I think this was the Blade Bearer's weapon. Actually, I should swing these things a little bit. Whoa! That's neat. It's an ice based weapon. This week. Okay. So, this would be a good weapon if I just want to go to the Fire World and fuck everyone's shit up. Okay, that's kind of cool. Oh, yeah. I have a sword that gets an erection. Okay. Didn't I get something else? I think this is the... I assume this is a fire-based bayonet? Oh, that's pretty sick-ass design! That'd actually be really cool to have in real life! That that looks really cool. I like that. Then again, the difference is, the sword looks really cool, but it would have to not be made of real metal, or else I would never be able to pick it up. Whereas this, this can be made of real weapon. It might get tiring to lug it around. It'd probably still weigh 50 pounds. But that's still manageable. That's... I have a flamethrower. That's... That's really cool. Still gotta figure out where to get tungsten from. And the thing, it was actually the uh, fight where I didn't use uh, Final Journey until halfway through the fight. Anyway. I'm gonna go to the missile, maybe get one level, and I'm going to save... And quit. Because this video is really long. Oh! <sighs> Dickler is dead. And honestly, Mito was king of the dicks. Sil was actually trying Sorry. to be good. Moving out. But he made a very bad good impression. Bad. Bad first impression. And title screen. Okay. Fuck. Anyway, I hope everyone out there had a good day. Ah, uh, that's what we call this video. It's already two and a half hours long. So, sorry I went a bit long, but I wanted to win those fights. And I know I played it really shittily, but at least I'm high enough level, it can make up for my lack of skill. So, hope everyone had a good day. Bye.